guess I'll need a new hobby now that old Charlie's... Macrame's nice. That came from outside! Rocco! Henshaw! I smell a bat! Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. Whenever I make like a Batman video, inevitably there's somebody comes into the comments and they start talking about Batman, the animated series, and how it, it really shaped their views on the character. And it is just something that a lot of people, you know, in my generation just really connected to and love. And we, we have some news on that. And with me today to talk about it is my friend, Minus One Cock. Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> doing good. I missed my one cock, but I'm doing all right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> So you're a huge fan of Batman the Animated Series, correct? Uh, I'd say a lot of people my age are huge fans of the Animated Series. It's what pretty much introduced them to anything DC-related. So, you know, we, we have news that, that they're going to continue the, the, the story within that you know, in comic format. So I'm going to read the article from CBR.com right now, and then we're going to talk about it. Is that okay, Jeremy? Yeah, I'm excited. Batman the Animated Series as Paul Dini and Alan Burnett, as well as Batman Adventures Ty Templeton, are returning to the world of the landmark cartoon with Batman the Adventures Continues, a six-issue miniseries arriving in April. According to EW, the miniseries will feature a number of characters from the greater DC animated universe, as well as a Robin who was conspicuous by his absence in Batman the Animated Series, Jason Todd. We'd gone from Dick Grayson to Tim Drake, and we'd left out Jason, Dini said. What we're doing with this is looking at this as a chance to go back and actually acknowledge that was part of the animated Batman's history. For the first time, you're going to see the story and you're going to see what happened in that relationship. So it's our chance not only to do Jason Todd, but also the Red Hood. There are other characters like Azrael, who was popular in the comics around the time of the show, and Deathstroke, who he never used in the animated series. We're kicking off the Bruce-Lex relationship in a semi-sequel of the Batman and Superman crossover, World's Finest, because the events of that are touched on, he added. Where did that leave Bruce and Lex after they were busted by Batman and Superman? It's interesting to see the little dueling that goes on between them. As for what readers can expect, Deanie and Templeton tease an intense Azrael storyline and a mystery surrounding a shadowy character who studied the Bat family very closely. So as a you know a fan of Batman the Animated Series, what's your reaction, Jeremy? This is big news. This is crazy news. I can't believe this is even happening news. Uh, the fact that you, I, Shelby, my girlfriend, loves Jason Todd, too. So I'm going to tell her all about this. She's going to fangirl right out. So she's because I just introduced her to the show. Uh, it, it's just fundamental. I can't believe this is happening. I'm super excited. It's like the it's like all the planets aligned mm. and it's and it's minus it feels like one it shouldn't cockpit, happen right? and I'm glad it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what is it about the Batman the animated series that specifically, you know, that you connected with or, or why you think it's just better than the rest? That's a really good question. Um I guess when it first started out, it had a very interesting art style, very dark and gloomy, but it it just it just captured what was Batman very, very well. As a kid, I was, that was Batman. You didn't know anything else. I wasn't buying comics when I was six or seven, you know, but I was watching Batman the Animated Series. I was buying the toys, and this just shoots my hyper levels beyond anything now. I cannot believe they're continuing on. A lot of people think Paul Dini is, is one of the, the better Batman creators of all time. Of course, he uh, introduced Harley Quinn to the Batman mythology and lore. Um, what do you think about him incorporating jason todd in the red hood into the story do you want to his his version of the red hood story i don't think they'll be able to include it in the six issues what do you want to see from jason todd in the animated series universe that'd be really interesting to see if they actually crowbar jason i don't know if they're actually gonna go that far probably just be like joker kidnaps him or something kind of funny but it would be great to see you know the classic red helmet hood and just and just I think Paul Dini is the guy that can bring it to the comics and to the animated comics. He's the one guy I probably could pull it off. I, could, I don't think I would trust anyone else, but the fact that Paul Dini is on the job, I'm letting him take the reins. Like, grab it. Grab the wheel, Paul. You got this. You know, we also know that they're bringing the original artist back from uh, the Batman series that followed the animated series, uh, Templeton. The new Batman, right? 
Yeah, the new Batman. Mm -hmm. You know, what did you think about his art style in comparison to the animated series? Was he able to ape it, or you know, did he make it his own? Um, you know, I always tell people like when you know the animated series. Uh, I, I prefer that art style over the new Batman series. But being a huge, I love the Superman animated series. I love the Justice League, Justice League Unlimited series. Uh, bringing that style back would probably it'd be more time. It'd be it'd stick with time better. It would age a little better versus the the original animated series style. So I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the new, the Batman series. I, I'm I'm okay with that. We hear that it's, uh, they announced that it's a six issue mini series. Is that going to be enough to satiate? You know your appetite, your your thirst. Is that going to quench your thirst for more Batman the animated series? <laughs> my my Batman thirst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, no, no. I hope, but I'm hoping with uh, with six issues, hopefully more come. Um, especially in the the climate Batman's in now, I'm pretty sure people are pretty not just me are pretty thirsty for some great Batman stories, and this is ripe for the picking. Very, just look how popular White Knight is with Sean, uh, Sean Gordon Murphy. Um, it's very Batman the animated series, and he even said it, he's inspired by Paul Denny. So this is a perfect climate. I be, I believe more will come from the sixth issue mini. Yeah, I was thinking the same mm. thing. You know, if it if it's received well and and people mm. you know vote with their wallets, and we always hear that you know you got to vote yeah. with your wallet. If people go out there and vote with their wallets, that they they won't have a choice but to. Get, but to put more content out there, maybe but expand it out to some of the to. other animated uh, universes. I would love to see, because Just League Unlimited was such a great series that started bringing more members of the the DC universe in. It just kind of ended. And it'd be great if they can continue that on. That would probably be the ultimate goal in my head, of just to see more of that. And I could see that possibly happening with this. So I'm definitely going to be buying it. Also, you know, the other character that was was mentioned prominently in the article that you know, we haven't seen in, in the animated series, of course, was Azrael mm. introduced during the um, the Nightfall story arc, you know, had a had a big impact, kind of fell off there for a while. But he's back right now in the, you know, the Curse of the White Knight that you just re mentioned from Sean Gordon Murphy. You know, how do you see Azrael? He's kind of a different character. How do you see him fitting into that universe? That's that's going to be interesting because, again, never happened in the animated series. Because how do you incorporate something that's happening? right now in the comics uh again paul's the guy that's gonna be able to pull it off but man asriel is such a dick <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see him uh, uh maybe team up with lex maybe in some kind of weird like villain crossover but then redemption uh it's gonna be fun to watch it's gonna be or read and essentially it's gonna be just great to read you know jeremy i, I really appreciate you coming on the show you know we, we talked about your initial reaction to the news you know um Paul Dini returning to his roots, you know, Batman, the animated series in comic format, you know, with the original artists that he had along with him when they, they first adapted it. Do you have anything else that you want to say uh, before we wrap this up? About Paul Dini or? About anything. Well, basically, I would say uh, if you've ever played the first Arkham game, he was just a leading force on the writing on that one. If you've ever played the rest of the games, that first game stands out as some of the best character development best cohesive story overall lapping like themes that first game is a gem while the rest he didn't he wasn't quite as involved with and you can definitely see it kind of treading away maybe the gameplay got a little better but that first game paul was mm. and just to see him going on coming back to his roots and i just oh it gets me all excited to come right back to it another cool thing about that first arkham game you got the original voice actress for batman and the joker from the anime series coming to that too so really, seeing this all coming together, oh, my fanboyism's is just skyrocketing. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I feel like I'm, oh, I'm asleep right now. It's all come full circle for a nerd gas and for you and oh, many others. I got to change my pants out right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, this is <laughs> really a big exciting. Batman stain right there. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I saw this news, I was like, I got to talk to Jeremy about this. I no can't believe you linked it. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> Didn't even so, hear about it. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> so I think the one thing I was disappointed was like the print, the actual like physical copies, I don't think coming out till March or something like that I read. Uh, yeah, it's May. Or May. It oh, so has got a couple months to wait, but good, t good things come to those that way, right? 
Absolutely. And, you know, it's a, it's a six issue arc, so it's going to last for six months. Maybe it'll get you some, through some of those dry times if you're not mm-hmm. really excited about metal or death metal or maybe the, the introduction into the, the DC 5G that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will get you through through some of those dark DC days ahead that uh, it seems like we got coming up. I think people should talk to their comic shops today and start asking to pre-order because that's going to be high in demand, I think. Jeremy, thank you so much for joining me. I, I knew you were going to be really excited. Really appreciate it. Bringing your minus one cock mentality to the show and, and, and throwing some information and knowledge on Batman, the animated series. Yeah, no, no problem. I'm happy to talk about it. Watch, I, I rewatch that series once a year. So, uh, oof, I'm excited. <laughs> Later. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter, at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.